Hi guys! So I am here today to do my uh, reading wrap up and TBR for June slash July. Um, I'm doing it for those two months because I want to show you all the books that I read that were not part of the 30 day read. So I read a few books before the 30 day read started in June and I've read a few books since the 30 day en reading challenge ended in July. So I'm going to show you those books and I'm going to show you the books I intend on reading in the month to come. Now, firstly, quickly, uh, one that I don't really need to say much about, but I did before the 30 day read started read the first um, Fables graphic novel. Um, I also read the second one, which was during the 30 day read, which you know about. Um, really enjoying this series so far and can't wait to start the third one. Then I also read um, a book on my Kindle and it was Strands of Bronze and Gold by Jane Nickerson, which is a YA sort of historical fiction um, fa fairy tale retelling of uh, the Bluebeard uh, folktale. Um, I have done a complete and full review of that so I will link it below if you missed it. Um, I did really enjoy the book, it's not usually the kind of thing I read and I don't think I'd ever reread it. If you think it's the kind of thing you'd be interested in I'd recommend it because I really do think you, um, a lot of people would enjoy reading it. Then I'm ashamed to say the only things I have read since the 30 day read finished um, are True Blood books. Um, I kind of just got addicted, so I read uh, Living Dead in Dallas, which is the second in the series. I then read Club Dead, which is the third in the series, and then I read Dead to the World, which is the fourth in the series. Um, I just got a little bit addicted to the storyline, and I think the books really remind me of what I loved so much in the first few series, which is Suki. Um, like, I enjoy following her story. And I think the TV show's gone a little bit off track, in my opinion. Um, so I've been really enjoying the books. Um, although I've been giving them three to four stars. Um, I think partially the three star ratings are because of the re repetitive nature of the story. In each book, um, there's information that the author just repeats probably to refresh your memory, but because I've been reading them in such close proximity, it just feels like repeated information to me that's really irritating. Um, but I do think, though, if you'd been leaving months between, that wouldn't have annoyed you, so that that's why I haven't started the fifth one yet, because I want to leave at least maybe a week uh, between the, <laughs> the fourth and the fifth one, just to see if um, I enjoy it more with a little break in between. I also started a few books this month, even though I haven't finished them. Um, the first one was Heliodorus's um, Ethiopian Romance, which is an ancient Greek novel. It's actually the longest one, at least that I've read. I think that I think the other one is shorter too, so I think this is definitely the longest one. And it is quite long. It's um, 281 pages, which might not seem a lot, but it's small print. I'm trying to be really... Um, diligent with my reading of this book and making notes whilst I'm reading it and taking in everything um, just because I'm reading it partially for studying purposes so um, it is taking me a little bit longer but I'm halfway through now and I will finish this in August and I'm really enjoying it actually, it's quite different from the other ones and it's it's good, it's just sort of like a adventure romance <laughs> set in um, ancient Greece and Egypt I also just started The Crane Wife by Patrick Ness. I'm only, I think, like 23 pages into it. Um, I bet the writing style is beautiful, so I'm really enjoying um, that so far, but obviously I haven't really gotten into the, the meat of the plot or the story, so I can't really comment on that, but I will be finishing this, um, like I said, in August. <laughs> I also started reading on my Kindle. Anna Dressed in Blood, uh, which is a sort of YA horror um, by Ken Dare Blake, and it, I'm 43% of the way in, so I'm almost halfway. I'm enjoying it so far, but I've not really found it particularly frightening or scary or anything along those lines so far. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, people have different, obviously, scare thresholds, and maybe I just haven't been right, in the right mindset or reading it in the right atmosphere but I haven't been particularly frightened but then again like I said I'm not even quite halfway so maybe the the scary stuff's yet to come and one more that I started that I actually will probably finish today because it's a children's book I've already read a substantial amount of it and very quickly uh, I don't really have a cover to show you because it's from NetGalley but it's 
this book and it's Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman. Um, it's a children's book and it's quite a young children's book um, and it's coming out I think in September so I'm just reading that. Um, but it's really funny. Um, I think if I had kids or knew any children <laughs> really that were younger I would love to read them this book because it's just so funny. Neil Gaiman's obviously written it in a way that it's for children but in the anticipation that maybe adults will be reading it with their children because the humour is great like you could you would really enjoy reading this to a child and you would laugh yourself and I've been really enjoying reading it Um, it's just really funny and I, I feel like it's kind of reminiscent of um, the Giggler Treatment by Roddy Doyle, which is one of my favourite children's books. Um, they're not really similar, but it just, they, I, I'm, it's the same kind of humour, and it just, get, it's just making me feel the same way that that book made me feel. Then a couple of books that I will be reading that I haven't started yet, and I'm not going to lie to you, I'm going to be reading the next True Blood book, and this is Dead as a Doornail, um, which is the fifth one. Um, yeah. I'm I'm just zooming through them. They're such easy light reads and some of it is so cheesy and ridiculous but they're fun. I'm really enjoying them. They're really fun and I, the characters are just fantastic. They're just really good. I'm really enjoying these books and I managed to get the first 10 books in a box set for £15. That's why I've got them all uh, which was really cheap. I got it from the works um, so I was pretty pleased with that deal. I'm not gonna lie. I may even read the sixth one. Um, <laughs> I'm also going to be reading Chariton's um, Kalurahui, um, never sure if I'm saying that right, which is the last of the ancient Greek novels. So once I've read this, I will be done and I will be ready to research my dissertation more fully. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this one. I love these little lobe editions. Um, yeah, I have actually read a couple of chapters of this for a class I did last year, but I haven't read the full, the whole thing from cover to cover, but I remember enjoying those chapters, so I think I will enjoy this book. I also bought one more book I'll probably end up reading in August, and that's Out of the Easy by Ruta Sepetis. Goodness only knows if I'm saying that right. Um, I did actually buy this after watching um, a book review for it. You know, you watch book reviews and you're just like, well, I have to read that now. Um, so I'll link that below as well. Um, yeah, so I am looking forward to reading this. Um, I read the sample on my Kindle and really enjoyed that, so then I didn't load it. So I am like maybe 5% of the way through, but I'm not planning on continuing that until I've read all these other books. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I have read recently and am planning on reading recently. And um, let me know what you're planning on reading on August. Um, Maybe I'll get some more things to add to my TBR list. Um, although I'm not really buying books at the moment. Not because I'm on a book buying ban or anything, but I've just bought a lot more books than I usually buy and I really want to read them uh, all. So I'm not desperate to buy anything new. Um, yeah, so... Um, but you can always I can always put them on my to buy list for later. Um, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all again very soon. Bye!